Okay, so I have a shape ready to go here, but in order to use a fall off, we need a behavior to connect it to. So I'm going to add a value behavior, just double click to create. And then if I connect the ID or the output of that value behavior into the position Y attribute of the shape, as I increase or decrease the value here, you can see that that's being passed through to the shape. So now all I need to do is click on the fall off tab, right click and add fall off. That's made the connection for me. And now as I move the fall off around, you can see it's affecting the vertical position of the shape. So we can take this a little bit further. With the ellipse selected, let's alt click the duplicator icon up here in the shelf, change this to a linear distribution and spread them out a little bit. This time we can take the output of the value and connect it to shape position Y on the duplicator. And now as I move the fall off, you can see that it's affecting each duplicate as it travels past.